tense, like you're about to hit me. OK. And we're, and we're rolling. And try to go back a little, and you get hit. Well, this is our rear projection setup. And one might think, uh, well, why did they use rear projection in the original Terminator? Uh, because today, everything with uh, special effects or visual effects seem to be with green screen. Put it in front of a green screen. Put it in front of a blue screen. And the problem with doing that is if I put blue behind Mr. Terminator Robot here, it becomes Mr. Invisible Terminator Robot because all he does is reflect the blue background. So since that's the case for this character, rear projection makes perfect sense because if you have fire or any type of interactive light, the image on the screen will wrap around the figure and give a very realistic appearance. And that's the reason why the Terminator was shot using rear projection. On the original Terminator, it was very difficult to create rear projection because you needed special stop motion projectors, of which there were maybe only 10 made for the film Mighty Joe Young. Ray Harryhausen borrowed two of them for his own work, and the others were scattered about Hollywood. So for a, a young animator, it was impossible to do rear projection uh, very effectively. Today, however, you are very lucky because we've got these big high definition monitors everywhere. So at this point, we can start animating, and we're going to photograph both the Terminator and Camille at the same time. So we will shoot our first frame. We will advance Camille. And we will move the Terminator's hand to the first marker. This is the way Harryhausen did his animation for years and years. Without the benefit of digital. Here we go. Bam! Oh. Perfect. That looks great. Perfect. That looks great. Just don't get typecast doing that. <laughs> I wouldn't want to move up the ladder. <laughs> we want you beating up Terminators, mm -hmm. not the other way around. 